On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about a low fire hold switch. Now, not all boilers will have a low fire hold switch, but it can serve a pretty helpful function. The point of a low fire hold switch is by pressure or temperature, pressure in this case, that we ensure we have a certain operating condition in the boiler before allowing the burner to release to modulate and send the firing rate up. And the obvious uh, situation we would want to avoid is somebody enabling or turning the burner switch on on a cold boiler and for it to go directly to high fire thermally shocking the boiler. Now this is not the best tool for the job. The best tool to prevent that is a competent operator. Putting the firing rate control in manual and warming the boiler and walking the firing rate up slowly as required but it is necessary in many cases if we have boilers that start automatically by time clocks and things like that because it will reduce the impact of thermal stress on the boiler. Now this switch we are hoping to prove that we have pressure to allow us to run and it's typically wired in a way that is a little different than our operating in high limit. These are making and breaking the burner control circuits. Instead, our low fire hold device is actually making or breaking our firing rate circuit or interfering with the automatic firing rate control. So we, we will wire this on the normally open contact because when the boiler pressure rises, we want that switch to close and to allow the firing rate control to do its typical job. So I'm going to increase the pressure on this. It's set for 50 PSI. And it cleanly made at 50 PSI. And so if that was wired into our modulation circuit, what we would see was that once that circuit made, our mod motor could ramp up and do its job properly. Now the proper setting for a low fire hold switch is going to vary depending on the equipment that it's on. On a low pressure cast iron sectional boiler, it may only be set for a couple PSI, just enough to ensure that we're generating steam and sending some out into the system. On a typical fire tube boiler, it might be set between 10 and 25 PSI to ensure that we, we don't just have air pressure forming on the boiler from it warming up, but high enough that we actually ensure that we're generating steam. But on a larger water tube boiler, many of those boilers aren't designed to operate out of low fire unless they're at 100 PSI or higher because it's important to get to a certain pressure and temperature for our water density to be correct, to have good circulation in the water tube boiler. So the setting on that is important um, and it does relate to our application. A low fire hold switch is typically, in fact, identical physically to our operating pressure switch. These are the same model switch and we can use them for either application using the normally closed contacts for a pressure device or usually the normally open contacts for a firing rate limiter. So the same adjustment and differential rules will apply. And once again, we always want to be looking at the gauge when we set these because they're just not super accurate.